What's up? I'm gonna be breaking down what I take with me every day, my everyday carry for camera equipment, and then also what I use to do the POV photography videos in case you were interested and uh, wanna do it yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is the backpack that I take. And this is something that's important, is the type of backpack you take shouldn't scream, I have expensive gear with me. And that's why I take this space station camera bag that they uh, gave to us for Christmas, uh, I think last year. Super simple, it's super flat, very minimal. Uh, and when I take it with me, it's very light on my back. It carries everything I need it to, and it doesn't scream some kind of camera brand like Sony or Canon. Uh, and makes the probability of me getting robbed maybe just a little bit less. So the first piece of tech I'm gonna talk about is the Anchor portable battery charger. It's a 20,000 milliamp battery. Uh, it has USB-C as well as just a regular USB port. And I primarily use this for two things. One, to power the GoPro. That way I'm not having to swap out batteries because it, the batteries probably last about 45 minutes on just like continuous run. So obviously the most important piece of tech for the POV videos is the GoPro. Um, I think any action cam would honestly work as long as you can get an attachment that allows you to put it on your chest. I like the 7 because that's when they introduced the HyperSmooth and the HyperSmooth is basically kind of what ties this whole thing together and makes it all work. I don't think you need the 8 or 9 or 10 or whichever one they're on now. So I think you could find a 7 um, at a really good price and honestly you'll be just fine there. The other important piece is the attachment that you use to get the POV shots. Obviously you can't carry it around while you're taking the photo so for me I just use the GoPro chest mount. Another good reason to have this in a situation that you were robbed or mugged or whatever that footage should be there to help you uh, be able to identify the person who did this and hopefully get your stuff back. Now obviously all that's cool and all, but it doesn't matter if I can't shoot photos. So what do I shoot on? I typically shoot on uh, the Fujifilm X-T4. I just got this for Christmas. My amazing wife uh, gifted it to me, um, which was way out of our agreed budget, but I'm not gonna complain. This thing so far has been phenomenal. The reason I got this camera is because I love vintage looks, I love film looks, but getting in the film is a little complicated, it's expensive, it's not something that I really wanna deal with. And so with the film simulations that you can get from this and the recipes that you can put into this to try and get those same looks from different film types is the reason I went with this. Now on here, I have the Tide CineSoft uh, Dream Mist Filter. Here's kind of like an idea of what it looks like with, with and without it. For the photos, it was the last piece that I was missing to get like the photos that I was like really gunning for whenever buying this camera. So the lens I use is a 16 to 80. It's the one that came with the kit that my wife bought. Uh, it's F4. So it's not like mind blowing, but to be honest, I don't think I could have picked a better lens to be the only lens that I have right now because it's such a wide range from 16 to 80. There are very few situations where I can't snap the photo that I'm trying to snap. I think that this lens is a phenomenal beginner lens and I don't look to replace it really anytime soon. Now, when I posted the photo of my everyday carry on Reddit, I got a lot of questions on this right here. Well, not really this, this. Uh, this is the Peak Design carry clip. And essentially what it is, is you put this piece on the bottom of your camera. This goes on either your backpack on your, like right here, or it goes on your hip. So the way it works is you just attach this clip to the bottom of your camera and then it slides onto the Peak Design carry. And this little wobble had me a little nervous at first, I'm not gonna lie, you can hear it. I have yet to have any incident at all where this thing felt like it wasn't secured. So once you get it under there, you just tighten these things down with your finger and trust me, you can get them nice and tight. Then you just take your camera with the clip and you just slide it in. Now once again, I have yet to have an issue where I felt like this thing was gonna fall off. And to show you how fast it is, if I were just, if I wanted to grab a photo real quick, I mean, it's that quick. Uh, I have more trouble putting it on than I do taking it off. And so again, when you're out and about and you're just trying to get that photo, it's like, I mean, just being able to just quickly grab and, and take the photo and just always have it, I think is something that every photographer should really look into. And the last piece of tech that goes with me most places, this isn't part of the everyday carry, essentially. I would say it's like an 80% everyday carry, um, but it is the iPad Pro. The reason I say this is probably one of the handiest pieces of equipment you can buy, although expensive, 
is because of the USB-C port, um, you can take a SD card reader like so and plug it in there and then import straight into Lightroom. I do 100% of my photo editing in Lightroom on my iPad. This thing flies. It is phenomenal. The Lightroom catalog, all your photos, every single one of these photos, as, long as, as well as all my albums here, are connected to the cloud that I can access from my phone, from my computer, or just by logging in anywhere. So essentially, I, don't, I can have every photo that I've ever taken uh, backed up to Lightroom on my iPad, which is super nice. So I think this is a seriously useful piece of tech. It's super thin. I, again, it's expensive, so I'm not saying that it's important. It's not important. It's just for me, photo editing wasn't the funnest hobby up until I got this because now I use photo editing to relax. And so being able to go out to a coffee shop or whatever and have all my photos right here, even on a plane, and just be able to throw on some music and edit. This thing zooms through photo editing as opposed to like the way my computer does. I will never not edit photos on an iPad again. I hope you enjoyed the video. My mic fell. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's my everyday carry slash what I take with me when I go do POV videos. Um, hopefully this is useful to you. Um, I am a big proponent of gear matters, which I know might upset a lot of people. Um, I don't think that gear stops you from creating, but I think that the right gear can help you create more. And I think it keeps passion alive uh, when you have good pieces of gear that make your life a little bit easier. But thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, all those things. And I appreciate you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.